Hello, today we're looking at inheritance of blood group and we're going to start with a quick recap for some key terms that we need for this video. A gene codes for a characteristic. A gene codes for a characteristic. Genes have alleles. Alleles are an alternate version of the gene or an alternate version of a gene. We can use the example, we could have the gene for fur color. This is referring to fur color in mice. The gene is for fur color, but the alleles are brown fur and white fur. There are two alleles in this case. We use capital B for brown and small b for white. And for this example, there are two alleles for the fur color gene, brown and white. This is not always the case. Let's switch to humans. Sometimes we have multiple alleles. Multiple alleles, that's when we have more than two alleles for a gene. More than two alleles for a gene. And a common example is human blood groups. There are more than two alleles for human blood groups. So let's take a look at human blood groups. There are basically four different blood groups. They are called A, B, AB, and O. You might have a plus or minus next to each of those, but that's not what we're going to look at today. How do we write the alleles? Well, for A, blood group A, we write an I with a capital A slightly raised like that. For B, it's a capital I with a raised capital B, like that. And for blood group O, it's I with a uppercase or capital O slightly raised like that. Now it's important to remember how these relate to each other. So A is dominant over O, B is also dominant over O, and that means O is recessive for both A and B. But quite interestingly, A and B are what we call co-dominant. They are co-dominant, and that's why we can have a blood group AB. Neither is dominant over the other. This is the example of the ABO blood group system, and it's an example of multiple alleles, where there's more than two alleles. A person will only ever have two alleles, but there are more than two alleles for this characteristic. So how would we write the genotypes, the combination of alleles for each of the blood groups? Well, for blood group A, remember we do need to have two alleles, so it could be either IAIA IA or IAIO, because A is dominant over O. For B, if you're thinking ahead a little bit, it's going to be either IBIB IB or IBIO. Remember, all of these are capital. So that's the possibilities for blood group B. There's only one possibility for blood group AB, and that would be IA, IB. And for blood group O, there's only one possibility. We have to have two O's together because they are recessive. Now imagine we had two parents, each blood group is A, and the genotype for that blood group is IA, IO. This is how we would do the genetic cross. We'd put one parent along the top there, one allele in each of those box and our boxes in our Punnett square. That's parent one and that's parent two. Doesn't matter which way around it is for this example. That's how we would show where the alleles are. And as you know, we then combine the alleles like this to show what all the different possible combinations of alleles are, all the different genotypes. So these are the four possible genotypes from those parents. So we can actually figure out which blood group each one of those is. So the genotypes we can show like this, just taking them out of the Punnett square, so we can label it a bit easier. The first person has blood group A, second person again A, third person also A, and the final person blood group O. There's a 75% chance of blood group A and a 25% chance of blood group O with those two parents. We could say there's a ratio of 3 to 1 blood group A to blood group O. If you're going to write it as a ratio, make sure you write a ratio of what to what. Here's another example. 
pause here and try this one for yourself. So here's the combination of alleles for this example. And again, we can just pull out the genotypes just to see what the blood groups are. So for the first one, that was blood group A, second one is AB, then A again, and then B. So this time we could see that we have 50% of blood group A, 25% blood group AB, and 25% blood group B. And if we were to write the ratio, it's a 2 to 1 to 1. Remember to write which blood group goes with which ratio number. So it's 2 to 1 to 1, A to AB to B. Let's try a couple more examples. Pause again and see what you come up for these two examples. So here are the answers. For the first one on the left, we've got 50% A, 25AB and 25B, and then 25% AB, 25% A, and 50% B for the second example. Here's a final example for you to try. This time we haven't written down who or what is dominant to what. You can try and do this without that information. So if you get in the hang of this, here are the combination of the alleles. We have 50% AB and 50% B, a ratio of 2 to 2 AB to B. So that's our video for inheritance of blood group. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.